What do you think a racquetball would do in liquid nitrogen? Who thinks, who thinks it'll shatter? Maybe? Well, let's find out. Let's do an experiment. All right, John, you ready? Right. If you want to take it out with the tongs, and you can hold it with the gloves, if you like. And if you want to bounce yours kind of hard, too. Oh, Whoa, that didn't bounce. <laughs> yeah, <thank you> that. <laughs> so don't touch the pieces quite yet. They're a little chilly. When we started to volunteer in the STEM activities at Lord, started with maybe 10, 15 people, and then we doubled the next year. And then we doubled again the next year. And it came to the point where we need to help where we had to recruit several STEM coordinators, and now we have a STEM committee. Focusing on STEM education is a natural thing to do uh, with the folks at Lord Corporation. A lot of the Lord employees have background in STEM in one shape, form, or another, uh, and they really have a strong desire to give back to the local community. STEM education is very important at Lord. It's important for our community to generate students who understand and have STEM skills. My students and myself have benefited greatly from this relationship that we've built with Lord. Having a real scientist from the Lord Corporation in my classroom um, brings a lot to the table for the students. They appreciate that they have an expert in science tell them about polymers and they know this man works with them every day. So that he's a very believable person to have in there. So the genuineness is there. They'll listen to people from industry differently than they listen to their teachers or their parents. In fact, many teachers have said, we tell them the same things you're saying, but somehow coming from you, it sinks in better. They say, oh, Miss Baldwin was telling us the truth because he's repeating things I've already told them. Hearing it from you would be even more powerful, and that's an easy thing for volunteers to do. Oh, sure, I can talk about my job. That's easy. That's all you wanted? And <laughs> I think I'm definitely getting a great deal out of the volunteering effort, uh, and maybe even more than the kids. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. And I've heard that same sentiment from a lot of the volunteers at Lord Corporation as well. If they want to have good quality jobs here and the best companies come here to hire people, they need to be sure they have a workforce that's strong with STEM skills. If the students walk away with you know, what I'm doing now actually does matter, then I think I've done my job. Thank you to all the teachers. <laughs> it's a hard job. Hopefully volunteers uh, like me or others can help out for a day.